Hi guys, it's Tamara. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Welcome back guys. We're going to talk about parental facades today. So we've been talking over the course of April uh, about personality and relationships and parents and family. And so I'm going to touch some of the topics that I didn't get a chance to discuss last month. So in this video, we're going to talk about the facades that toxic parents put on just to be favored and to be looked upon positively. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. For those who are subscribed, for those who are not subscribed, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button right over there. So then that way you can stick around with us, make suggestions and kind of um, engage in our community that we're building on a daily basis. So let's just go ahead and jump in. The benefits for you in today's video is that you're going to learn a little bit about the toxic parental facades that parents use when they know or don't know that they're unhealthy to try to raise children. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Okay, the first facade that I have seen is the well put together successful facade. Okay, that facade usually is the parent who dresses very nice. You're never going to see them with holes or dirt in their clothing. Um, their hair is always properly in place. If it's a guy, they always smell really good. They have aftershave on. They're cut really nice, right? Their hair is always groomed well. These are the kind of parents that don't want their kids to get dirty in the dirt, right? They want to keep their clothes clean. Don't play on the swing because there's germs like that kind of a parent uh, is in my mind considered the successful parent the next parent is the caring attentive parent uh, but it's not true right they're only caring and attentive when it benefits them at a PTA meeting at a school meeting at a counseling session at a doctor's appointment but once those things are over they're done the next one is the overprotective parent or the overreactor overreactor that's the one who just overreacts all the time and not only do they overreact but they also overprotect right it's like constant helicoptering that child or that individual very suffocating the next one is the toxic and dramatic parent that's the one who pulls everybody into their problems they triangulate i'm going to put a video up here where i talked about triangulation but uh, the toxic, dramatic parent is the one who triangulates and really pulls people into roles that they should not be in. All right, I talk more about that in that video. The last one is the buck passer. That's the individual who passes the buck to the grandparents, passes the buck to teachers, passes the buck to the therapist. They don't engage like they should, and they have very little desire to do so. Thank you so much for being with me today in this short video. I encourage you to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around with us. We're going to continue talking about these things as we move forward. But in the meantime, have a good rest of the week.